guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access, and look who I've found, the most incredibly talented Nolan North has joined us in the UK. <laughs> um, we've grabbed you and we're going to ask you some questions because you have Go. all of the knowledge when it comes to being a famous voice actor and of course the Uncharted series. All of the knowledge? All of the knowledge. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not all. So where did you guys as a team then, especially when working with Naughty Dog and Uncharted, when did it really click that like this is something special? This is not just going to be a game, this, this series has sparked something within the games industry and we're on to the, the winner. Yeah, I think somewhere during the shooting of Uncharted 2, probably, we just, you know, you, the first one was like, we're just kind of, it was fun, we're figuring it out and um, just, the, the, you know, getting to know every, one another and, um, but Uncharted 2, it's like now with the same team was back and all the actors are back and we're doing it again and now we've known each other for a couple of years. There's a familiarity yeah. with each other. Um, uh, basically an understanding of what we're doing uh, with in terms of the, the movements and, and the sets. Uh, I talk about like an, the Drake's Fortune, we had a Jeep yeah. and we jumped into the Jeep and we used that and then they realized you don't need to rent a Jeep for the day and just park it there. We can just use blocks and PVC pipes. Um, uh, and, but somewhere along the line of Uncharted 2, I thought, you know, this is, you know, uh, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune had done well, but then something about Uncharted 2 that we had, uh, Rene Auberjonois came in and, and played Schaefer and, and uh, uh, you know, G Graham McTavish and, and Steve Valentine, uh, um, Claudia Black as Chloe. I mean, there was this great collective group and, you know, uh, when you work with really good actors, you, you, you're, you're almost become a little bit better by osmosis, and when you're doing things uh, across from, like Graham McTavish, who's brilliant. I mean, he's saying things to you. I mean, he was a—he had become a very good friend of mine through that, uh, and I remember him turning to me as Lazarevich, and it, it made me—he made me nervous. I mean, he just did something in, in one of those scenes. It, it kind of frightened me, you know, and because uh, it just—he just really. He, commits to it and it was great so uh, and then of course Uncharted 2 comes out and it was a massive massive hit and then people are buying Uncharted 1 now it's a talk of everything and, and it just from then on I mean the hype around the, uh, Uncharted 2 and then I remember it went on for months and months and uh, you know now we're certain to get an Uncharted 3 it was like we couldn't wait I think that's when the Sony wanted to do the Vita game somewhere yeah. in there and did you just wait for those phone calls then you're like, oh god, I really I, hope they call me for the I, third one. I like, pray for the <laughs> phone calls. So you were just signed on for each game. It wasn't like, okay, we're going to make a number of games and you're going to be with us for no, the time. No, yeah, no, it wasn't so like just that. Just by the phone, like, come on, like, two did well. There yeah, has to I've, be a third. Over 20 come years, on. I've been just staring at the phone. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, that's active waiting life, for waiting for exactly. that callback. Exactly. And Charles has always been known for having very big set pieces. You know, there's been times mm -hmm. where Nathan Drake's been hanging out the back of a plane on right. the edge of a four by four. Um, how does that translate to being in the studio? Because, I mean, from what I've seen of behind oh, the scenes stuff, it's yeah. quite like it's actually just a blank room, and it's you have a, to imagine is. that you're in a <laughs> you're in a tropical rainforest. It is imagination. You have to really <laughs> tap into that spirit of uh, play, uh, imagination, and um, you know, there's a wall. We have to. You're going to go climb. You just picture it in your head. Um, it's. I mean, you're not delusional thinking that there's a real wall there um, <laughs> you know it, it, you, you, I've, I've been asked you know the idea well was well, it different when it's in a hot environment doing this You're like no no do you turn off the air conditioning it's like no no it's just let's just you know play make-believe and see what happens it's like old school um, Shakespeare where someone just brings out the stage and like we're now in the forest yes the man for the science forest we actually have someone who does that they walk out and they go yes. this is the desert Okay, cool. Um, okay. And then they go Ooh. back into this, we, we keep them in a little box. Yeah, that's um, their job. They come out once every couple of years. <laughs> exactly, just tell us what setting we're in. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I mean, I, I'd be lying if I said, yeah, this is a process we have to go through to figure, no. It's, it's really just, um, you, you just tap into that, that imagination and you, and you just go with it. You just say, okay, we're in Italy, okay, we're, you know, in uh, England, we're in wherever. This is the back streets, we're underground, we're in a cave. Um, there are minimal props and things that you can interact with. Um, but, you know, I, I remember in Uncharted 3 holding this, this orange, you know, stick that's about this big around and that long, and that was a torch. And you had to kind of 
imagine that you're holding this and there's no fire there's no you know you're just kind of squinting and then the spiders come out and you just take a uh, stick yeah stick take a stick shotgun yeah it's um it's not as hard as it may seem to some it's just go outside watch a bunch of seven-year-olds play that's what we do what happens when you've got the really kind of big moments and like where you're hanging out the back of a plane? Is that just mm -hmm. contortion in the middle of the room and you're like on a block and you have to pretend that you're flailing? And um, no, fortunately that particular scene was actually done by a, uh, that actually, those movements of that yeah, Drake's body, that, that, movement that was a real, well it was because it was really happening. They okay. put a stunt man I oh, didn't make a, you go up there. <laughs> I wanted to. This is the story. I wanted to get on the. They said, "Yeah, we're going to do wire work." I'm like, "Ooh, wire work. That sounds awesome." No. I'm like, "No, <laughs> let me do you. it." No. And I'm like, "I really want to do it." They're like, "No." And I'm like, "I really you won't be able to do it. I will." No. Well, I want to come watch it. They said, "Fine." Fine. <laughs> Ruben Langdon, the stunt man, put on a line and just raised up like a puppet. And then they had a second line going to part of it and then a third line going to another person and they yanked him up and then this person would yank him up and down and then this person yanked him side to side and action and they would just these men just yanking him well and the other side going this and his body was just flying around and he just held on to a, a bar and they did it for eight hours oh my god they'd lay and let him That's down for awful. lunch I mean, you could see his forearms throbbing, but he just, you know, that's his job, and he was amazing at it. So the great thing about this game is, yeah, sure, there's great digital effects that they can do. They can pretty much do anything, but they always prefer to get it done by that by, by a real person, and he, they've done it. So th when you're playing this stuff, this is something that people have really actually done. People can do. Uh, yeah, people yeah. can do that. And you're going to think, there's no way. Can I can't run for a bus. <laughs> Let alone be well, using you, my only upper body strength to pull me up like You don't have to do that in this game. Run for bus. Run for bus. Thank buses. God. No. Because no, that's the last no, thing I want to be doing. No. So when do you do sound then? Is all sound done afterwards in a recording studio? Mm -hmm. So you're no. kind of syncing up? Or is no. it live there and then as well? Live right there in the room. We will go back in the re recording studio later um, to pick things up, to make it, uh, yeah. you know, to polish things if it wasn't quite perfect. Um, very often what we'll do is uh, called an audio pass. Uh, we'll, we'll finish the scene and then we just stand there, we'll look right at a camera, you'll get another camera, there's, there's, and um, just without the movements and the things, you know, sometimes the Velcro or uh, the sound of running, and we'll just do the lines, but with effort. So it's just, we'll just do the lines for an audio pass. So it's audio only. Right. Um, the, the motion capture cameras aren't shooting and we just, we'll go right to a video camera and Okay. So, so they do that. So, yeah, it kind of, uh, there's so much data and then they just filter it down and out pops the game. So what about all like the, I guess I call them background noise, like, like Nathan's always like talking to himself and obviously yeah. there's always the running and jumping noises. Is that all you then? So you're really having to be yeah. Nathan Drake like all the time when you're in that suit? Not, that, <laughs> that a lot of times is done, uh, like the gameplay a lot of times that some of the lines will be done in an audio booth later where the animators will film footage of mm. a level and then I will watch it with my headphones on and what we call chase the picture. Okay. Um, so like he's running. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, where are you, Sully? You know, and then he's walking, you know, and then that's when I'll throw in little things like so you get to throw in your little yeah, bits as well. Yeah, and that's where a little, you know, Nate, uh, yeah, I think I, I think I may have thrown one in this, whether they use it or not. I think I threw one in here. I gotta find a tree to pee. You know, because because you ever notice? I was just thinking about no that. No one ever goes he, to the bathroom in video never, games. He never takes a leak in a video game. I thought, oh, I gotta find a bush to pee in. Just, I think that should be thrown in the game somewhere. So. Make that happen, not you know. We want I'll, that I'll, in charge. I'll see well. if I'll see if that uh, see if I have a place <laughs> to do it. the cut. Just to see, wouldn't it be great? Just one everywhere. He just that's a, a playable thing. Press triangle. And he just walks over. Zip. Let's see how long it lasts. Is it a zip? Maybe it's a zip, or is it button fly? I don't know. I don't know. We, women tend to have zips. That's all, that's all I know. That's all I know. Um, when you're <laughs> working with the the cast, then so you guys obviously become friends over the yep. years. You've worked together. Who's the most trouble on set? Me. Is it okay? Done. Yeah. Take right. Next question. Yeah. No. Pretty much. I mean, is it every, quite a nice atmosphere? Like it's all laughy and jokey in between. And most actors are, are professional, and I'm not. 
Right, uh, very last question I think will be nice in general, but uh, what's been your favorite moment in playing Nathan Drake? I think just the, the, the collaboration of, of everybody through these games. Um, I'm not a person who kind of dwells a lot and thinks about things I've done. I'm always kind of, I think a lot of actors are that way. We're, we operate out of a place of fear, trying to get to the next thing and what's going to be next, what's the next challenge. And um, when you stop and, uh, and you start thinking about it, uh, and I haven't really thought about it until I came over to the UK because I'm a bit on holiday and it takes some time and I can't use my phone. I can't figure out how to use that over here. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm it's kind not of, worth it, to I'm, be honest. I'm, I'm completely off the grid and I'm, you know, I'm kind of living in the moment, which mm. everybody should. I just don't know how to do it all the time, but it's, I've, I've had time to reflect and think about it. And it's, I've made a lot of great friends. I've, made a, a, I've become a better actor. I've become a more confident actor. And, and uh, this, this role has changed my life uh, for the better. It's, um, uh, at least one of my kids get to go to college. Uh, <laughs> get to pick which one. <laughs> we'll just see who's got the higher grades. Uh, it's a motivator. Um, but really, it's, 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 it's undoubtedly the best role of my life. And uh, for a number of reasons, professionally and personally. And uh, I'm just so incredibly grateful to the people who allowed me to do this. The people who, the fans who fell in love with it. And uh, you know, I, I don't know what's next, but um, I'm not looking to next yet. I, I want to do this one really well and and um, you know see what happens. A bit more time left in this one yet. A bit more time. A bit more time left in it. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's incredible. I know I'm really excited to see Uncharted 4, but it's just great to speak to someone who has had such a massive impact on the games industry. And a lot uh, of people uh, watching this will will you know think back <laughs> of the games they've played, that you've been in them, and the characters you've created and made uh, you, yourself and brought them to life with your voice has had yeah. a massive impact on the industry. No, thank you. I'm, I'm, it's been a pleasure, and I, I, you know, I'm not done yet. I mean, no, no, I, I, I mean, there's more. plenty more. I just, you know, don't we write don't the epitaph is. just yet. I, you know, I'll we see. We don't know what it is yet. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, you know, you can stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more stuff coming up from the world of PlayStation. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press like and leave a comment because it's really nice and it helps us. It helps. It helps.